Now to disassemble, we're gonna make sure that we're empty. Yes, we're empty. Hey, a lot of people, uh, you know, have accidents where they've uh, thought they had an empty rifle and they pull a trigger on it and it goes bang. So we're definitely not gonna do that. Let's uh, start pulling. Oh, I need to go the other way. Oh, that's quite loose. Quite loose from the factory. There's our front action screw. That one's pretty loose as well. I wonder if that's factory torque or they just don't torque them down that much. Uh, there goes that uh, plate along the bottom there as well. And now we should be able to pull the stock right off of there. There goes our stock. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try taking this thing apart. I don't know about this. Okay, there goes the, uh, the middle post. I'm using a one quarter inch drive. Whoa, that one doesn't wanna come. Okay, let's try this rear one here. Oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> A lot of these old rifles just weren't really meant to be taken apart all that many times. Okay, there goes the rear one. That means there's a big threat on it. Okay, let's get that. Phillips head screw out there. Okay, there goes our magwell. Feels like a trigger assembly will go as well. There's a trigger assembly. How the heck do you take this bolt out? Hmm. Uh, maybe it has something to do with this front guy here. Let's see what we can do with it. Man, that front one had a lot of torque on it. I don't see any Loctite, so it might have just been really tight on there. What happens when that one's released? Do I get to pull the barrel off? <laughs> I get to pull the barrel off. Come on. Come on, I believe in you. Ha, huh, there we go. There's the barrel. Now I better get to take this bolt out. All right, bolt's charging handle comes out and there comes the bolt. Okay, so you can take this. <laughs> it's not easy. I don't think it's really meant to be taken apart all that many times, but uh, it is possible. Huh. Well, there is our bolt head. Man, I wonder if I should leave this thing disassembled so I can take pic pictures of it. Hmm. It's not too dirty, but uh, why don't we go ahead and put this thing back together. I bet you there's no videos of that online. So I'm gonna start with the bolt back in. I've got the bolt and the uh, recoil assembly here all uh, in one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that guy in. I've got the half moon of the uh, bolt here so that the flat part is facing up. Pop that, no, oh, I guess it shouldn't pop it that far because I'm gonna need to pull the bolt handle in there, aren't I? There's my bolt handle. I'm gonna just stuck that guy in there and then pop it into this track here. I might actually push it right back and just lock it to the rear just to kind of keep it out of the way so I can push this barrel back in. Looks like the barrel also has the extractor, kind of like all in one spot here. Well, that'd be really easy though. If you, if you wanted to clean your barrel, your barrel just comes right off, right? All right, let's go ahead and throw this guy back here. I'm gonna be very careful to get that extractor right into my bolt. There it goes. Now I'm gonna back it up so I've got that key kind of uh, hanging out there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull my uh, my bolt, or sorry, my barrel key thing, longer leg towards the front. Am I on the right side? I think I am. I believe. Maybe the other way. Maybe not the other way. Maybe 
It needs to go in a lot further. Oh, there we go. It needs to go in a lot further. There she goes. Now I've got that key visible there. Feels good. Now let's go ahead and throw our front post on here. Is that the one? Let's see, this guy was in there. Yeah, this front post just goes on all by its lonesome. And on you go. I'm gonna torque it pretty tight since that's holding my barrel on. Let's see if I can remember how to put this thing back together properly. Uh, uh. Underneath, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, underneath you go. And do I have everything lined up? Why doesn't it want to line up there? Let's see. Probably because it needs to cock the, uh, yeah, it needs to cock it. Okay, so we're gonna need to pop down something easy first. Why don't I grab this front guy? Cock it back just a little bit. That's just pre-cocking the sear a little bit, so I'm holding back on that trigger assembly. Ah, yeah, there goes that Phillips screw in there. And then this small post guy with this star ring here goes in the rear. That one's decently torqued down, but not too, like, strong. And then the rear one, which is kind of a pain in the butt to get going because that trigger is in the way. So I'm just going to hand start it. If you have an Allen key, this would be the time to use it. I don't want to bother getting mine out. There is our lower assembly assembled. Looks like it's working. Safety's working. And that's firing. So looks like we're good to go. I'm gonna hold it down. This is something you can use on some of your other guns as well. Pull it all the way to the rear, let go, and then see if your disconnector works. Yeah, disconnector works just fine. And safety works as well. Let's go ahead and put this thing back in the stock. All right, this video is already getting long. Let's get to it here. All right, let's grab that floor plate thingamabobber, base plate, whatever you want to call it. Get in there. Man, why do they make it so tight to these screws? Get in your home. Jeez. Okay. There that guy goes. Let's get that a little bit more in the center. Not going to go too tight. Maybe if it was just snug from the factory, that's the way it's supposed to be. Still cycling all right. And my mag feels like it's in the right spot as well. 